What's up? All right, everybody. So, what we're going to be doing today is something a little kind of really cool. So this this pack is called uh, called Caldheim. These kind of booster packs contain basically all foils and rares and things like that. So they're a little cool. Yeah, a 15 card collector boost. So if you're collecting cards and Honestly, I'm not like big into magic, but I love getting rare cards. So we're just gonna look at these and we're going to Stark Stark start with just the first card. The first card is a token creature, a dwarf berserker. Of course, they're all foil, so if you can't see that, this is a foil. Although we don't have anything that can make a dwarf berserker. Ooh. Next one is Dragonkin, Dragonkin Berserker. So kind of on the play of a Dwarf Berserker. This one has first strike and boost abilities you activate cost one less to activate. Boast, sorry, boast abilities for each dragon you control. Boast is a five mana cost with when he creates a five five red dragon creature token with flying. And the cool thing about this foil is if you see on the edge here, there is no boundary. So this is an outside art kind of card, which is actually better than just a regular. Sounds really cool. Okay, Aegir the Freezing Flame. A legendary creature, a giant wizard. Whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess damage. If a giant wizard or spell you control dealt damage to it, this turn, draw a card. But the cool thing about this card is, look, it's a foil. I mean, look at that art on the side. Dang, that's cool. Next we have Rare Land Mistgate Pathway. The art goes on the outside. That's so cool. Next we have, by the way, the ones that look like this, they're uncommon. So this one's uncommon, the rest of them have been rare. This is another uncommon, a legendary creature, Elf Warrior, Herald, the King of Skim Farm. He has Menace, and whenever he enters the battlefield, you look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal an Elf, Warrior, or a Tavar card from among them and put it to your hand. Put the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. So again, cool little art there. That's pretty flippin' dope. Ooh. Rare card, Battle of Frost and Fire. As this saga enters, you put lore counters on it. So this is a saga. Battle of Frost and Fire deals four damage to each non-giant creature and each giant and each planeswalker. So also your own. So this could be bad, could be good. Number two, you scry three. Number four, sorry, number one, number two. And then number three is whenever you cast a spell with converted mana, cost five or greater this turn, draw two cards, then discard a card. So, um, yeah, you have to kind of time that out, but that's pretty dope. It's also golden on the outside. That's really cool. That one's rare, so all the rips are in a pile on the other ones. Dope. Skimfar Avenger. Uh, whenever another non-token elf or berserker you control dies, you can you draw one card and lose one life. But again, art on the outside and it's a rare card. Keep going here. Another saga. Battle for Bredatar. Brett a guard. Create a 1-1 one, one white human warrior creature token. The second one is create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token. And then the third one is choose any number of artifact tokens and or creature tokens you control with different names. For each of them, create a token that's a copy of it. So that's really cool. Token or just creature tokens. Oh, okay, so not just creatures. You have to do token creatures so that's but that's pretty cool that one's rare and that one's, that one's pretty cheap the other one costs five that other saga and this one would cost three and then we have a swamp snow covered swamp and i think this is actually a really expensive card for some reason snow covered swamp man uncommon egg gear the freezing flame so this is egg gear the freezing flame so this is the same card 
except just a different look on them. So the art style is completely different. So maybe I also get Herald the King. No, I don't. But okay, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. If it's an elf, create two one one green elf warrior tokens. Um, and then foretell during your turn you may pay two and exile this card from your hand face down. Cast it on for a later turn for its foretell cost. So basically you're paying one extra mana instead of one less mana if you wait a turn. That's kinda cool. This is an also uncommon. Oof. Infernal Pet, common hard. Whenever you cast a second spell each turn, put a 1 1 counter on Infernal Pet and it gains flying until the end of the turn. Common, man. Legendary Land. Just kidding, it's just an L. Um, Woodland Chasm, Snowland Swamp Forest. Um, Woodland Chasm enters the battlefield tapped, um, but it can add Skull or Tree as well, so that's cool. Ah, another common card. I want a mythical, bro. Creature Masked Vandal Shapeshifter. Challenging. This card is a, is every creature type. Every creature type. When Masked Vandal enters the battlefield, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, exile target artifact or control or enchantment and controller an opponent controls. Another common. Draugr Recruiter. Boast. Return target creature from your card from your graveyard to your hand activate the disability only if this creature attack this turn and only once each turn so you can activate this more than once last card is another common is a creature spider with reach that's legit it so cool cards let's go take out the coolest cards I've gotten I think my favorite cards in this whole thing are these artistic cards right here those are pretty dope. And then, of course, these, oh my gosh, what, no way. Double-sided land. This one can add planes. Dude. So this is basically, um, actually, I'm not sure. I don't know if you can use this twice. I think you're supposed to look at this side first because it has the little... Um, rare uh, little foil color on there. This, this one's actually not technically a foil. Most of them are, though. That's really cool. Anyways, that is the 15 card Cooster Pack. So, Cooster Pack. But anyway, so you can still get common, sadly, but they are going to be all foil. All those cards are foil. I think I only got. One, that's two. Oh, this is a foil too. Yeah, nice. I only got like two cards that are not foil. Oh, three cards, sorry. Four cards. Four cards that are not foil. So that's it. Pretty dope, but there are some commons, so that's kind of disappointing. But they are foil, so that's freaking dope. Anyways, that is the 15 card booster pack called high.